here it is folks that's where the wood stove is going to go that's where my pink couch was and that wall right there that corner right there you see a light switch and everything this is where my desk and my chair used to be here's my couch on its side there's my kitchen sort of sort of kitchen and now my desk is in my sewing room pantry kind of thing I have an insulated up there. Oh, you just took it out. There it is, folks. This is what my husband does when he's on vacation. We flew to Arizona, packed our van full of our personal stuff, drove six days on the road coming home, and today is Friday. Howie goes back to work Monday, and it looks like he's going to be working all weekend. What do you say to that, Howie? Uh -huh. What else is new, eh? If you notice, this ceiling kind of slopes downwards towards that back wall. And the reason Howie's tearing it out is because we, uh, our second year here, we put a new roof on, and we just never raised that ceiling to level. Like this ceiling here is level, but that one slopes back. So since he's got to go through the ceiling anyway with the uh, to connect the wood stove pipe to the chimney, um, I and need go the height too. Yeah, we need the height too. Um, but since we have to do that, he might as well raise the ceiling since he's got to go through it anyway, right, hun? This man does not slow down. There's the new roof up under there. Point. The, these are the old joists here uh, that he's tearing out. So you're raising the ceiling up to the roof level, right? Yeah, yes. And that's where the chimney's going to go through. Like. Well, I'm just giving you options, okay? That's where it would be sitting there, but I don't think that's going to fit the joists. Oh, I see what you're doing. You've drawn a little. No, see? I can't. I can't put it like this. I think it'll work that way. Uh, I can shave them. Um, this only has to be 41, not 48. So I can take three Seven. and a half inches off either side there, which will make it go in more. But it has to still be. Yeah. Can't you get another piece of plywood for just in the corner, or? Let's see how much. Well, we can do whatever we want behind it. This four by eight actually we're two inches shy for Canada. I can build that out. Right, so I got to have 41 inches, and I have to have 8 inches on either side of the stove. And how's the stove pipe going to go for there? Well, that should work fine. Oh, see, well, there you go. But that's not moving in any further. Well, the wood stove itself is only the face is only going to come out to here, right? Face is here. This is the wood stove. Okay, well, that's this fine. The wood stove. But it has to have this for spark. That's okay. fine as long as the wood stove itself isn't coming all the way out into the room there. No, just this, and I wanted to keep it low because you can be able to walk over this. Yeah. Right. If I got that high, right. it's going to cause difficulties. What I'll do is I'll just get some uh, tile, some grout. So that's the chimney collet. Where you're gonna put it? Vapor barrier, yay! Oh, you're so supportive, Briar. <laughs> Girls, you can't. You're not helping. Penny, you're not helping. Um, good luck getting the chair. That's using your noggin, dear. Doing, dear. Cool.
There he is, slicking mud. You really need to go hunting tomorrow and take some time off, dear. Look what he's got done in 24 hours, eh, dear? Okay, here it is, folks, my finished sitting room. As you can see, we haven't got, like, the light switch plates on or... Um, Howie has not finished the base around uh, underneath the wood stove yet, but I wanted to show you. There's no fire today because, well, it's mild. I don't know where I'm going to put my Christmas tree yet, but uh, looks good, eh? Not too shabby, Papa. Good job. Thank you.